I ain't gonna lie. I clubbed a lot of penguins to death today, guys. A lot. I mean, I, I wiped out an entire iceberg's worth of penguins. Alright? Then I went on to another iceberg, and I think I took out about half of them before I just got tired of it. I mean, you can only club so many penguins in one day. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Ark, where today I'm working on the treehouse some more. Um, and yes, you may notice I've done a lot. You might have also noticed I did do some community posts of me doing this. Last night, after I got this, I did come back and start my second episode like I said I would. Um, except me being a genius, I forgot to hit record. So me the entire time thinking I'm recording, not looking over and just to go see if the red light was there. Just the red little butt, like, you know, the red dot, you know? And yeah, I got like, I got this far. Alright, I got a nice, nice start. So, as you may notice here, I got the, the center here is, like, lower down. But then on the outside, I've gone up with one, like, half wall. And placed that all the way around and placed, uh, what is it? It's two normal ceilings out on each of them. And yes, they do intersect a bit. And then I believe it's six half ceilings on the front. And you may notice that these are technically one in from the end of the other ceilings that is just so that way it's even and i'm not having i'm not wasting wood and then of course i just got ramps down and i figured that we would just use this area as dino storage as well then next floor up we're gonna have the workshop um also for windows all right so you may notice like in the boat the greenhouse window like all that you can't really see out of them so when i was looking around i saw these Builders using railings to make windows and I essentially just use their technique um, I do got a little problem here though if I crouch and go out. is that a like Pego wearing a Christmas hat that's one of the Christmas event creatures <laughs> it's a Pego grouch that's awesome I did not expect to see one of those but yeah I used railings here and you may notice as, as well I got everything uh, lined with pillars um, and then I also got on each, was it on, there's four of them. And then on the opposite side, so there's four doors on each, basically the, was it south, north, east, and west. And that's what I tried to do, at least. I mean, this would be my north, technically. Then that one back there is my south, west, east, and all that. Um, then, of course, I got ladders to go up here to the ceiling. And this is basically how we're going to get up into the workshop. Now, I just did these because I really could not have been bothered last night with how tired I was getting to figure out how to do a spiral staircase. Now, I am willing to, just because that down there is dino storage, I felt like ladders would be the easiest because they take up the least amount of space as well. But I think here out of the workshop, I'm going to do two spiral staircases. Like, either right off of this one and then the one on the other side or something like that. But I technically got to go through. I got to go finish that window still. Finish that roofing right there. Yeah, I did go in with a sl slanted roof. It does look nice as well. Um, I am also planning on going around with railing on all these. Or not railing, uh, the pillar. And maybe railing. I think that would be nice. And then we make like a little, I don't know. <coughs> I'm losing my voice because I was like trying to do this last night and then yeah I got like so sad when I when I found out but if you guys actually want to see what the structure is of how I did these here it is so technically this would also be for down there uh, instead of having this like the slope here uh, put a normal ceiling and then you got ceiling then you got the six half or was it quarter ceilings then you got three full ceilings two quarter ceilings now here's the important part you really don't have to do the hatch the hatch here was kind of a get around so again i put a hatch frame right in the middle and then two quarters on either side or say like on uh this one here uh after i got to that it's just four or four, four, oh god i fell in four uh whole ceilings but that's how i did it now, you do got options. You could also probably use triangles, but I figured these would be better for me. Now, in terms of actual stuff for crafting, I got a lot. 
Now, I need to go count up how much stuff I need to go finish these ceilings. Um, I think it's the railings I really need to focus on right now. Alrighty, so I did get this all connected now. There's no longer a gap here in the middle, and that one's finished off. So this is actually really starting to look nice. And I was thinking I was going to have to have hatches, but turns out they've literally made it so that way you can literally run over these. When you have a ladder and not fall down you literally have to hit e to go down which i find nice but i also find somewhat annoying because sometimes i like to just run up and you know draw oh looks like if i try hard enough i can but it seems more like it tries to prevent me from falling down so anyways i'm gonna try and finish this off here and then we can start on the workshop Alrighty, we almost got this done just gotta get these ceilings in now Boom. Okay, come on. It is a little finicky now because there's a lot of snap points as well that I'm trying to play with. So, I think I've made just barely enough here to finish this off. Okay, okay, come on. I'm getting better with my math, especially when counting up how to how many parts I need for structure. Okay, come on. Oh, you know what I could have technically done with these? gone all the way around with half um could go back and try that get half walls and go all the way back on you know what let's not because i think i actually did test that the other last night um either way it looks good it looks really good honestly it does i need to go get my pillars now so, I got a nice start here on the walls for the workshop, and I also got the railings up on the outside. Um, I think I've, def I've decided on a window design, though, for the workshop. I'm going to be doing the railing again, but I did have a bit of a gap at the top. And last time around, I just filled it in with, again, what was it? Here, I'll show you. It wasn't the railing here, it was these half walls. The quarter walls. And, well, it doesn't look that great. The, like, these are a third of a wall, right? These are a quarter of a wall. Or they're a quarter high. So it, it's weird. So. But they look good. I think that's what I want to keep with. I'm going to need more of them though. Because uh, I think I, I got just enough here for this last window. But that is actually a good design. I'm willing to work with that. I like it. So I got a nice start here again on the. Is it? The pillars going around and i got all the windows done i did miscount i got enough here though for I got like six railings might do something with them on the outside still because i might like put a little overhang here on for the next one you know I'll, I'll, i'm still working on what i'm going to do for the next floor as well that, that's just one thing i have not figured out now what i need to do is you're going to go around, and we're going to basically go up all of these, like so. These are looking pretty good. I think the windows even look... The windows... Yeah, the windows work with it. They actually look even better. Okay, so last thing I'm going to do here with the pillars is I've decided to line the top as well. Just because that's what I did with the other one, but you know what it does? It takes away the part that made that top part look good to me. You know what? It's still there. It's just not as visible anymore. Like, it's completely taken away. But I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave it that way. Oh, I'm going to have to get the bird. Why did I have to misplace that? So, I've gone around, I've put pillars on the outside, and right now, I'm doing decorative stuff. I really shouldn't be. I really should just go inside and finish off the workshop's roof, and then finish off the workshop today. But I think that's this is probably the last thing I'm going to do for out here. And I kind of figured that I am going to have an overhang here and make a bit of a, what is it, an awning, you know? This This will be covered by a roof. So, I figured may as well decorate out here a tiny bit using the railings. And this is just another thing I've seen people do with them for decoration. And this was because I made too many. Now I'm going to have to make more. Because now i got to go back around. 
And I want to pretty it up even more by boom, boom. That's what I want, basically, right there. And you got to be kidding. I got to get the bird again. I'm going to have to get the bird again. I'm not even going to bother getting the bird. I'm just going to do this and just put it back and restart. Alrighty, guys. So, as you may notice here, I'm going around the outside right now. This is still technically part of the ceiling for uh, the workshop. I'm working on getting there. Um, I'm still waiting on some iron to smelt back at the boat. I'm going to have to go get it. Because it's going to be the last of what I need for the forge. Honestly, this would have gone faster if I would have bothered to get two forges. Also, I messed up my roof at some point. I did. Dang it, I gotta get the bird. Is he up here somewhere? I know he's up here somewhere. There you are, Argentavis. Oh, I have messed up one of my ceilings. I have accidentally put three instead of four. Oh, you'll notice it immediately. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Basically, this, this is what I'm trying to do. Boom, and then go here. Then we go over. This is just so that way we get these nice uh, feelings. Also, it's also so that way I can still keep on going out evenly with the how the original octagon was, or whatever this is. I don't know what shape this is called. I think it's... I don't know. Okay, so I think I've got a nice... I'm done with the walls, like, completely. I've got the awning built. That is something that I could have honestly not done. Because it used up a, ch a good chunk of my time, is just doing the doing the awning. But I like it. I really do. But anyways, what I think I'm going to do now is I got to get the Indie Forge in. I am short, like, 600 metal still. I'm waiting on that over at the, the raft. I think, though, once I get my Fabricator, I don't have a... Oh, do I have enough... No, because if I make the chem bench right now, I'm not going to have enough for the Indie Forge. But once I get the Indie Forge, I can pump out that metal like it's nothing. So I think that's what I'm going to focus on. So we'll get the Indie Forge after I get the Fabricator and all that. I need to move that stuff all up here, though. Okay, so I got my stuff. It's just now figuring out where I want to put it. Because I'm thinking, again, I want the Indie Forge against the tree. Okay, because that's going to be where I have the most room for it. And again, it, that's where I can I can still slope up the ceiling or go even higher to just fit it in the workshop, you know. And we have a lot of tree still that we can ascend. Here, I'm going to show you guys what we have before I put down the fabricator and smoothie. This is what the base looks like so far from the outside. It's looking really good. All right. But this is a big base. Got a pink Karna. What's your level, my man? I can't look at you, but I'll check you now. Can I? Can I? Can I? No. Anyways, but yeah, this is what the base is looking like. It's looking really nice. But again, bottom floor is for dino storage, and that is technically a good five high, or five and a half high, actually. Then this one's a good three high, the next one. So we're already good at seven and a half, uh, seven high. And I think by the time I get up to here, this is where I'm going to be building the greenhouses up in the tree. Like, up in the canopy. And, you know, even, like, in the dino storage, I even just now realizing that, I can use that to breed them. That can be my storage area for when I'm breeding dinos, too. So, I don't have to make an entire section dedicated to breeding dinos. Really, I don't need to dedicate an entire floor to storing flyers, either. So... For the next floor, I think I'm going to just split it. We go, like, half kitchen, half, like, trophy room. Because I think that'd be fun. Then on top of that, we'll go egg farm. And then on top of the egg farm, we'll do farm for plants. But, yeah. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to fill out the egg farm, like, entire... I forgot to go place down my fabric iron smithy. ADHD is killing me today. Also, I keep on forgetting to put my mic in front of my mouth. That's also probably ADHD killing me. But you're going to notice something immediately. Technically, I got two smithies and two fabricators. Uh, I got my other smithy down there holding everything, technically. Um, but what I would like to do here is, again, yes, use the snap points, but they're not letting me. 
what we are going to do is we're going to hit Q, hold it. We're going to go into full alignment. And I think I want to do these both on the same wall. And I'm going to try and do them boom like that. And then go boom like that. We'll have a little bit of a gap in the middle. And that's just so that way they look even. But if you're wondering why I have two fabricators, it's a lesson I've learned. And that's really... Because this is... I've, I've started playing with some PvP players. And this is just a lesson I've learned from them. Even in PvE, it's good to have multiple. Because say when I need to bang out a bunch of components and electronics for a lot of structures or highly advanced stuff. Like tools and all that. Um, polymer especially for like pump pump shotguns. I can fill all of these up with all right. Your, your all your slots are designated to uh, making polymer, and so instead of it being limited to the six that you get, I get twelve because I got two fabricators. I can run them in. Same thing with the smithy when I'm making bu simple bullets, all that. I'm gonna do with the chemistry bench as well. But yeah, that's essentially what the plan is here for this stuff. You know what I might do as well? I might split this room. Because I'm going to notice this. I can have half of this designated as the workshop. Alright, alright, alright. Then, again, half workshop. We got the forge and all that. The other half. The kitchen. Alright? I know this is a little weird. I've, I've always built a kitchen for stuff. Like, this is just a room designated for making kibble and all that. It's where I store my eggs and my vegetables. And it's where I also have, like, the cooking pots and the chemistry benches. So that way I can make all that stuff. But I think what I'll do here is I'll actually, like, have a... I don't know. How do I... What are they called? It's kind of like a counter. You sometimes see them in the kitchen. It's going to be like a divide in between the workshop and the kitchen. But it's going to be with the chemistry benches. Because I need the chemistry benches technically for the workshop and the kitchen. And I am kind of just starting to ramble right now. Okay. Still waiting on all that metal to finish up here. And right now, I'm just running around. It might You might notice it's a tiny bit laggy. This is why. I'm running around just making sure that the entirety of the base, especially on this lower floor, I, yeah, I can light up this with some lights. Um, I'll figure out how later. I think I might only need like four to light up that entire area. This, this of course, this floor is going to be covered um, as well as a good range out that way. But I think... Yeah, we should be good. We shouldn't go any higher than that. So, I was just up here working on the roof some more, and I spotted that. Uh, Let's not fall off the base. Alrighty, guys. I think I got the base lit up as well. It's not lit up the best way, but honestly, these are probably the best thing I got. I, got, I don't got the multi-lamps from S+, Plus that I can hang on the walls. I got these, though. These are basically them. Uh, but they're the regular version of them um, from Ark. I've also done this up here in the workshops, just so that way it's lit up here as well. It got dark, so. Um, this one though, it's, this one is honestly the last one I placed, and it got lucky. Uh, this one was the first one. I decided when I was going to place them, I was just going to place them in the corner. Then I got going here, and I was like, oh, it would be a good spot. And I decided to just line it up where all these, like, meet and make a ring. So, like. You can kind of see it where you see this line here where it's disjointed. Follow it. Eventually, it's going to meet that line where they're all disjointed. And then right in that corner there, that's where I've been putting the lights. So, and I think it worked out great. I, I mean, it's all lit up. Um, I will probably actually do some outside lights as well. I don't know. Uh, let me actually take a flight around on Argentavis and see what it looks like. I also did just realize I put the one of those lights exactly where I was going to put an Indie Forge. So it will most likely be moved as well. But, yeah. Um, from the outside here, the base actually looks pretty awesome from the outside. I'm not going to lie. Like, oh, you got the glow coming out of there. Like, I, I do realize that those lights are probably way too bright. I wish I could adjust their brightness. I did that back in uh, uh, the original arc. Sorry, I keep on spacing off because it's like, did I? Like, but yeah, no, with the S plus ones, you could control their brightness and how uh, 
how all that looks. You could, e I think you could even change their color. Um, yes, because I remember on my one of my like second playthroughs of Ark, uh, I had the the color changing hot tub, and I made that with the S plus lights. Alrighty, here we go. We got the Indie Forge. Boom. Now that mostly took a large chunk of my metal. Um, what do I need for? Do I have the chemistry bench? Let me check. Sorry, I left the... I can't spell today. I left the fabricator running, and it's not the S plus one, so they make... They make a lot, a lot of noise, so I can barely hear, my, hear myself. Um, do I... I know I have to, uh, like, have learned it at some point. Uh, I'm looking for where the... Chemistry benches. I could have sworn I saw it. Oh, no, I'm too off still. Alrighty, guys. Here comes the difficult part. Because I'm trying to place... The... That is as close as I can get. That is where... Ooh, that actually works perfectly. Now, I, I do realize as well, I have had to pick up my, uh, my light. I want to see if I can, say, just simply adjust it it back here okay there's one last thing I gotta look at oh, okay of course we're gonna have that I think look at this none of, none of the other one I guess some of them do but it's just real bad on that one because it's now right up against it not right up but I think I think I can work with that because then what I'm gonna do here is we're going to have at least two fridges for uh, keeping polymer and stuff like that alive. Because that's what I'm going to do for a farm. I'm going to have an organic polymer farm. Because that's what I went and did. I just, I ain't going to lie. I clubbed a lot of penguins to death today, guys. A lot. I mean, I, I wiped out an entire iceberg's worth of penguins. Alright. Then I went on to another iceberg. And I think I took out about half of them before I just got tired of it. I mean... You can only club so many penguins in one day. Alrighty, guys. Anyways, I think that is going to be it for today. I am tired. I've gotten so much metal. I had to steal so much cementing paste from beavers. It's not even funny. So, yeah. This has been Gun Chimore signing off. Peace. Peace. <laughs>